All right, so we are entering the third round in a very interesting situation. We are sitting high up front page of the leaderboard. Now, conditions are going to get harder over the weekend, and we're going to have to see how we can hold up. Hopefully, tempo stays what it's been, which is fantastic. But let's get after it. White tees for this round. High winds out of the northeast. The fairways are firm. The greens are very firm. And they are fast, so... Potentially going to be tough to get things down nice and easy and near the hole. But obviously, we're going to go out here and battle. And if we can if we can pull out a really nice score, we might be set up quite nicely for the final round. All right, so 549 yards for the par 5 down the hill here to start. I think so long as we kind of hang it somewhere out here towards the middle, we should be in... Good standing. Because this is going to drift left, and then we're going to hit the ground and kind of go just down into the right. As long as we don't get all the way down to this rough, which I don't think we should, we'll be good here. All right, so at 180 yards in, in this whole location, I think we actually stand a chance of... Maybe seeing an eagle opportunity. 182, and then we've got, like, 8 in. Yeah, if you land it somewhere in here, I mean, a 7 iron's going to take a bigger bounce and a little bit of release. Maybe just give it a little bit. Gonna come out to the right. I'm gonna hit it stock. This wind has kind of moved a bit on us. A little bit fast. Oh no, that's bad. That's, that's like way bad fast. What in the world happened there? All right, ideally we would get off of the green in some capacity here, but uh, no. All right, that's uh, that's not good. That is not good. There's nowhere to keep this. This ball is long gone. Felt like too much club. See, it was into the headwind. I think with the fast, that just gets turned too much. Yeah, I, I just, I thought that was going to get knocked down quite a bit more. Maybe I took the wrong club, but wrong input there, definitely not helping at all. All right, we're going to hit this out to the side, like here. Granted, your CCG. <laughs> I got a little bit far out. I mean, it's cutting across, but it's just going to keep running. So we're going to end up with a par here. Unless we can make a putt. Now, I will admit we've been struggling with tempo a little bit today. Tempo has been fairly, quote unquote, not automatic, but tempo has been very, very good the past the past two days today has been a little bit less stellar it's gonna go low i think oh no he does it he makes the big one okay so we, we eagled the first two rounds here. We'll take a birdie after that whole situation, for sure. Alright. We'll take drive, find the gap, and then it's gonna be just a bit of a check here on the wedge. Ooh, okay. So we are in for a pitch shot. 
Uphill and wind is going to be interesting. 95, like, I think this actually gets knocked down. So if you go long, 106, about 10 in. I'm gonna go full, full spin off on this. So that it helps to not roll back off the green. Okay, that's a good strike. Okay, uh, uphill took maybe a little bit out of that. Definitely flew through a few too many yards. I don't know if me being protective against the backspin ended up also influencing the carry. So just a little bit off on those first two approaches. You got a break. It does come back around at the end, but that, that hung through the middle section a little bit more. Okay. I mean, this round definitely is tougher, so we're going to have to be just that more, that much more precise with our shot placement. Uphill to 170, you've got about 10 in... It's not going to play a full 10, though. I think we're just long on this. And it's very firm. That's the part that, like, really... really messes with things. See, like, now, now the wind is moving. And like that, when you're talking these sorts of, these sorts of shots, that's key. Cause now all of a sudden we're landing three yards short of the hole, which is flirting with danger. Slowed it. Might get a lucky kick if it's, no. It bounced straight through. All right, not a not a great start here. Not a great start here. But that is a fantastic shot. <laughs> the little the little partial partial full shape flop. Just check it onto the green and roll it out. Yeah, 37% fly. You, that's not a shot in your bag? No, not, not your average. Ah, oh, man, if the wind is a little bit tailing, you're sending this. But because of where this is, we can get like 321. And 29 yards short is uh, just not going to do it. Yeah, what's going on, guy? Not with that sort of slope up to the green. Yeah, we gotta we gotta lay this up. That's downhill. I think you just take the four iron. It'll take the big bounce, and then you'll find your way. Yeah, tempos are definitely definitely a little bit of a struggle at the moment. 
teetering between the slows and fast, the perfects are, uh... Not quite there. Gap wedge pitch... I think with the elevation change... And this will land a couple yards short. Yeah, we'll we'll play this style. It might it might roll past. It might roll past, but I think that's okay. Like there's that big fast. That's what I'm saying, I'm either big fast or I'm slow. For whatever reason, I, like, don't have the... the control on these right now. So the fact that we're finding scores is definitely still big, but it's gonna come back and, and really start taking some strokes from us at some point if we can't pull it together. Warning to check your phone volume before playing the intro cutscene. Oh man, are you you starting it? Feel free to ask us tons of questions and also ask for our uh, friend codes and stuff. All right, so you tap this. I almost didn't trust it in that, and then I, like, overhit it there a little bit. Like, have to have a little bit more faith. Trust the read. Alright, this is gonna cut out towards the water. Have to hit this tempo nice. Alright, Baby Slow seems to be... Seems to be just like our, our default shot right now. Maybe maybe we'll do like a little a little reset. Take the hand off the controller, like. Alright, we got 247 in. This is kind of crappy because our four iron isn't really gonna chase back there, but this is too much club. So you lose five, seven, I mean, fully loft this hybrid. Here's the, I guess here's the big thing. This hybrid, if we get it with too much pace into the bowl here, the slope at the back is gonna take us back out. So if we full loft this, it's 235, we got 230, 228. And then you've got about the 10 or so coming in, right? So carries about 238, which is to here. I think maybe if I play like a big, big fade on it, take off enough. I got to be careful because I don't want to take off, like you're, you're still flirting a line here. You don't want to take off too much. Okay, there's the strike. This will go up and it's gonna feed left to right. Come on, have the release. That was, that was so good. I, I thought we legitimately had a chance at the Albi. All right, but let's try and make Eagle out of this. Downhill right to left breaker, so it's not gonna be it's not gonna be easy by any stretch. Why is that my life? Uh, I guess gotta hit it firmer. 
I guess gotta hit it firmer. Had the right read, it's just like one one click too short. Alright, but well now we get a drivable par 4, so you've got 11 miles an hour in the face, uphill. So you're carrying stock 300 to 90 or so. So I think what you're looking to do... Play a little bit of this draw into here and actually hit it more, more like in here. That's still going to roll all the way through, right? I don't know that there was a way to sit it any softer. Okay, we're on the green, though. We got a putt at it. Uphill. Breaks left to right. It's another look at Eagle. We made one long putt already. So maybe there's a chance... That's why I have trust issues. We missed the we missed the last one low side. We missed this one just on the high side. We are dancing around the cup on a few of these, but we're giving it a chance. We're keeping it in play. We're still coming away with birdies. So all in all, like can't be can't be like fully fully upset over it, but. It's always that it's always that thing about you know, when the competition is this, is this steep, I mean, you're looking for just about anything. Baby fast, and I think this green rolls... Back, yeah, it's going to roll left here, coming back down the hill. Was trying to hit that to the right, but we hit a little bit of a fast. Leaves us 15 foot and uphill too, so... Again, it's still a look at it. But knowing us, like, the big thing is the more looks outside of, like, 10 feet that we get, just statistically speaking, we are... We're typically not all that great with them. We're gonna we're still gonna try and make them, you know. Cause sometimes sometimes the tides will turn. Sometimes the tides will turn. Do you just send driver here? I guess the tough part is if you send driver... Playing this in with the fairway can be kind of tough. So what is... Still have a wedge from here. Don't be left and in the rough. Punished on the layup. It's heavy, isn't it? Oh, it stayed light. That's 
really big. <sighs> okay. So with this win, we're a little bit past pin high. We're just gonna have to take this shot. A little bit slow. I don't know how the bite's gonna be. We gave it all the spin we could. Yeah. It's tough because I can't give it any more loft. So you're trying to take that shot, but from the fairway, because then you can actually get it to really bite, but yeah, is what it is. We messed it up on the approach. Hit it just a little bit fast, I mean, off the tee, and The rest is history. Come on. And then the crash into the cup. I was getting real scared there that we were going to turn below the hole again. Okay. So this is an interesting predicament. 321. Right, and then we get a little bit extra from the wind. If it is uphill 18 yards to here, though. It's 308. It covers the bunker. But by how much? If we go back to the fly, this is up 56. This is still uphill. I think we're, I think we're safe. It's still uphill from where we're going. I'll try and get a little bit of overpower going just to make sure. That we're clear. Oh, not even an issue. Not even an issue. Look at that. Full clearance. Full clearance. Yeah, because it's still 38. So there's only it's only 16 feet uphill to where we got to. All right, we're going to have to take a bunch of club, though, because five iron is going to get knocked down to, like, here, and then you are going to get some wind. It's fairway bounce. Little loft on the five iron. I just know, like, if we... Kind of hoping that the the hill here takes some out of it. Big slow. It's not a good input. We might luck out, though, because we had the right distance, so we stay clear of the ridge. Yeah, that's the that's what we're going for in terms of shot selection. Like that's definitely the right choice. Just back out of the swing a little bit too much there. I don't know what it is. Controller just feels a little weird in the hands today. Like it's just one of those weird mental disconnects. So we're we are fighting it. Right? We are fighting it big time. Trying to just get a good feel for this guy here. I think something like this. Oh, it didn't break as hard. That early, that early break, it, it definitely took a much, much straighter through kind of, kind of roll. Alright, I don't like these, I don't like these bigger slows. Not a fan of this. 
for whatever reason, just not quite as locked in on the tempo today. But we're still scoring, so that's like, that's huge. Now this hole, this hole and I have not gotten along too well here this tournament. To swing faster? Well, you've definitely seen the, the ones where we do swing faster, so... Now, if we take full here, that's 114, 106. So I think we are stuck with the pitching wedge pitch. I think you just have to play a little bit of loft into it. Alright, let's get a check. Oh, I guess we caught enough of the downslope that it still releases. Perfect then. Pin high, but we uh we still have some work left to do. Very, very big breaker. And we read it perfectly. All right, first time we score 10, and we're we're 9 under through 10. So we haven't had the Eagles come, but 9 under through 10, that's, that's still scoring last I checked. Okay, so you want to be right side of this flag. If you're pin high, then you get a nice, nice putt up the hill here. So this is... This is 100% a control shot. We're not even going to try and attack the flag. Go a little bit more to the right. There's the strike. Placed. Little bit past pin high, so it's not as straight of a putt up the hill, but... So this continues to break more as it gets to the hole. Okay. Touche. I thought it was going to snap harder. I thought it was going to snap harder. Maybe there's a piece of me there that's hitting it a little bit firmer, too. Sucks, but like, that's, not, that's, not an easy, that's not an easy putt, despite it. Despite what it may seem like on paper there's a lot of break there so this club is definitely coming up short because you've got just from the elevation you're here and then the lie and then the wind plays i could maybe de-loft it but I feel like it's safer to club up. This would take you to 90. And then... I feel like you would just end up taking this shot... ...with some loft. Hit it a little bit slow. Okay, not too shabby. 
Not too shabby. Downhill two inches, but I think if we give it enough pace here, you can probably keep it from hitting this turn at the end too hard. I know that that's like an aggressive putt, but the key is just make sure you find the center of it so it can't it can't lip out. Um, headwind, so you're not. You're not driving it, so we'll take the hybrid. The hope here is you get a kick down into the right. Gets you in a decent spot distance-wise, but also then create an angle of attack. Seventy-four yards. We're on a downhill lie. But with that wind, I think you can just play this stock. There's even a chance that this is long. Right. Again, it's downhill, but this one's at least straighter. Okay, we have two par fives left. I can't remember if we have a drivable four at all. But maybe there's a chance for Eagle out here. Oh no, that's... The wind might... We might be out enough. Not a good, not a good tempo, but we're so far out to the right on the aim that this is still going to get down there a good ways. So even with that tempo, 370. Now we've got a wedge. I actually, or we've got an iron. I actually think we might be in tree trouble now. That's like the one thing here. I actually think this we're like so far up the left hand side that the tree comes into play. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to play around that. 168's our number. Downhill lie. Oh, I hit that slow. Get so lucky. I don't deserve that. At all. That was, that was really, really bad. Okay, so where do we want to land? We want to land like here. Uphill a foot. Lie at our feet. And then we've got to go another, like, three-something, a little bit more. Then this is way to the right. There's there's no there's no world in where it would be okay for me to eagle that, so we'll take the birdie. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nasty pin. Just distance wise is really the big thing here. Cause I can go 193 carry. Maybe a little bit with the wind. If I'm taking this stock, though, I'm landing it, like, here very firm as a big bounce.
I gotta hit. I gotta hit a full seven iron. I have to hit an absolute like full seven iron. One oh two slow. Oh, we got away with it. Oh, we got away with it. I thought that slow was going to be the death of us. Now, it doesn't leave us with an easy putt, but man, those last two holes. Two, two slows. That one a little bit less slow, but two slows that for sure should have taken us probably into the water. I feel like I'm not aiming enough, but it like I'm reading this I'm reading this different ways a couple of times. I'm gonna add a little bit more here. I think this is the read. It is the read. Come on. What a what a bizarre round this has been. What like just an absolutely bizarre round this has been. You even flirt with that cuz I think uphill and everything you're just bringing stuff into play that you shouldn't. So we'll play it up into this ridge. It'll it'll bounce us to the right. And roll us back down, but I think that's okay. It's a fairway in regulation. It's it's all we need it to be. Cause now you're now you're straight shot up at it. One fifty five. I mean this eight iron is is the number <laughs> oh. man oh man just trying to envision this because it's it is breaking quite a bit There we go. Almost had it low. That was that's a good adjustment. Very nice adjustment. Okay. I think this is one that you attempt to drive it because if you go long left, you just have an uphill like pitch shot. Now, 3 wood into this. It's too far back. We'd land here, we're gonna kick every time. All right, little, little partial driver here. Tempo's gonna be the tough part. Baby slow, oh, but that is center of the green just what is the roll going to look like because it's very firm sit sit can we have an eagle putt no we cannot we could have an eagle chip though i guess a little bit a little bit too far gotta land that uh, just a touch shorter uh pretty neutral on the lie gonna land like 
don't know if you try and go like here if here is your bounce spot to start the roll uphill the little bit of shape and then this comes out pretty far to the right Ah. It's okay. I think I hit it a little bit firmer than I, or a little bit faster than I needed to. Okay, so this driver here, that's full, and then I think we play it something like this. Just aim a little more right. Or more left, rather. But this should be far enough back that I don't think we get to rough. At least I hope we don't get to rough. Well, that's... That's flirting with it. That is certainly flirting with it. My goodness. Um... Lob Wedge here takes us back to, like, 106, and then you probably have, what, like, 9 at the back or so? 111. Yeah, we'd be getting this to carry to, like, here. If it la It's the thing of, like, if it lands on the, f on the green, you get the right bounce to release to the hole. If it lands here, it's actually going to bounce and take a bit more... Um, so, we go up a club. Go up a club and take some more, take some more shape. I don't know if I'm getting too cute with it now, but we're going to take the sandwich here. Thought I took a, just a touch more off of that, but like the crazy part there is we like half lofted it. And you can see with the very firms just like how much very firm is even on a sand wedge because that was just an absolutely massive bounce that we got. But we got 14 feet and a look at Eagle, which would cap off just another fantastic round. So let's see what we can find. We've been having a much better time, generally speaking, here about reading these putts, so I'm just going to try and keep reading the same way that I've been. We snagged it! Save the eagle for the last. And that is another round of 17. So we've gone 18, 17, 17. And uh, I will say this round, we battled. We battled our swing very, very much so. And by the looks of it, we have actually potentially done some moving on moving day. If you take a look behind me on these scores... Only the top four went as well as we did. Everybody else falling down. So that is absolutely huge. Tomorrow we, uh, I guess, are in the conversation for Hunt for the Win. Now, I assume Lindsay is going to be playing, like, tonight after we have finished this round. So I'm sure the landscape will change. But uh, the fact that we're we're flirting with the top is kind of like a crazy thing. Now, tomorrow... Very high wins. 
17 under is a very hard thing to replicate again, and hopefully the swing is back. But for now, we will take it.